Hello and welcome to Your Shout. This is where you send us in your clips. We chop them up and make them into a video. It's quite a rush job today, so I'm going to piece all the videos just together, all in one go, because the news has been happening thick and fast in the soap opera that's West Ham United. Uh, I thought we were going to get some videos on the fixture scheduling. That's all been changed. We've got some of them coming tomorrow because there'll be another Your Shout tomorrow. Also, uh, Pedro Obiang has just signed a new deal. That's really good news. I'm expecting some videos on that as well. However, the thing that's got everybody's blood boiling and juices flowing is the fact that the news has come out that Ian Nacho uh, is not going to be joining us because Bilic has vetoed the deal. So I'm going to say, going to run them all individually. So right now I'm going to say thank you to Gary. I'm going to say thank you to Jason. Mr. B and of course John for sending in your videos. They're hot off the press, fresh out the oven, so I'm going to get them to you now. Uh, just before I do that, if the, as I say, it's been like a bit of a soap opera, it's high drama at West Ham. If it's all been getting a little bit too much for you, you need to get away. Our sponsors are Noble Holidays, so give them a little look. As always, the link is below. Right, without further ado, let's kick it off with Gary. How are you doing, guys? Um, just wanted to do a quick video on the on a village pulling out of um, the Aihe and Nacho deal at the last minute. Can't believe it. Mr. Sullivan had the deal done uh, with the player and also the buyback clause sorted out. You know, where do we go from here, you know? Uh, uh, Giroud has come out and said he wants to stay in North, North London now, so no chance of getting him. Uh, Batchway, you can get him on loan, but do we really want any loanies anymore? You know, we were sold this dream. Move to the stadium, you know, big players would come in, you know, they'd be here on a permanent basis, we're moving forward, but just can't see it at the moment, you know, getting a little bit impatient. But we apparently we were paying a 25 million euro bid for a player in Europe last night. It must be Hernandez. It has to be him. So, fingers crossed, anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. We live in hope. Anyways. Come on, you irons. Hi, um, just been having a look at the Twitter feeds and um, seems a little bit concerning the fact that Bilic has pulled the plug, if true, um, on the Ian Echo deal. Um, I can't quite work out why this seems to be such a lack of, of joined up thinking between the board and Bilic um, and Tony Henry for that matter. Uh, surely it's three parties, they come together and they decide on deals. I appreciate that Billich was sort of a little bit concerned about the, the buyback clause, but that's not his remit. His remit is to take a player, coach that player, get him into the team and, and, and get results. So if he didn't like the player from the off because he was too young, didn't fit the age profile or whatever, why the hell have we gone after him? Um, you know, and got to, to the stage where we've agreed to buy, a buyback clause. It seems to be progressing, albeit it's stalled for a while. Um, and now, whammo, he doesn't want it. Um, I can't see it. There's, there, there's, there's, there's fundamentally something going wrong in our club. There's some, there's something underlying there that's that's not right. You don't hear other clubs where the board will make a decision on a player and the manager vetoes it. It just, it just doesn't happen. So you know, we're, again, we're left with who we're going to go for. Um, the names seem to be falling by, you know, by the way. Last year we obviously had all the, the, the backer talk, the Lacazette talk, and neither of those come off. This year seems to be the same. You know, lots of talk about Batshui, lots of talk about Giroud, but again, no substance to it at the moment for other, other factors because other players coming into those clubs. But I just kind of get the feeling that we could well be left with, you know, the likes of Andre Gray, who, to me, he's not a frontline striker. He's not the, he's the sort of person to, to take us forward. Um, you know, and some of the some of the foreign players come in. I just think it's yeah. This is again. This is just a recipe for disaster. And if we get Billich's preferred people in, they just got to perform a damn sight better than um, you know the likes of Zaza on that last season. Otherwise, you know, from from day one, we could be into a relegation struggle. Um, you know, you, we can't count on Carroll. We can't count on any of our main strikers at the moment. Um, I don't know, it's just um, concerning, really. Um, we shall see. Bye. With all these varying reports that seem to keep coming out about Iheanacho, um, it just seems like beggars believe, to be honest, that if it is Billich that has pulled the plug in it, 
this hasn't been a very well kept secret if we have been trying to do negotiations with Kalechi and his representatives and his agents and Man City so and so forth. I mean, every man and his dog knew that we were in for him. In the no outlets were reporting on it, Sky Sports were reporting on it. The list goes on and on and on. And for it to sort of be put on Bilic's head, I think, is pretty hard to believe, to be honest with you. I've seen some other reports that come from in the know, such as I, Mike, of West Ham Rumours, and he's come out and said that actually uh, Leicester have stolen stolen it from us, so we, we pretty much snatched defeat from the jewels of victory, as we were so far ahead of the game, if reports are to be believed. And I think the board are just using Slav as a scapegoat, to be honest, and I, I think if that is the case, and if it's how this rhetoric and routine keeps going time and time again of Slav copying the blame for these signings. I would not begrudge Slav if he decided enough was enough and he was the bigger man and walked away. I hope I want to be proved wrong on this and by the end of the transfer window it's all sunshine and rainbows but at this moment in time I am just, I am really disillusioned uh, and um, when you're looking at, when you're seeing that rock bottom the only way you can look is, is up. This is, this is John here. Um, I just want to report on the um, video that you guys did earlier today in relation to Ian Acho. I think it's absolutely poor. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> very, very surprised, but not, that all of a sudden we've sold out all of our uh, season tickets and yet we're starting to pull out of players. Again. Where's the money gone? Where's all this money that we're supposed to try and find? Yeah, it's 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 poor. It's absolutely poor. We deserve better than this. Um, I've been a big supporter of the of the board over the last few years because of what what they did to sort us out, and get us debt free, blah 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 blah. Um, now I don't know. I really really don't know what my my feelings are about them, other than the fact that it's just poor. We can I'm, uh, I hate to say it, but we're going to have a poor season um, if we don't get any decent signings, which I don't think we will. Ian Acho is perfect. Uh, Giroud looks like he's going off to Everton. Um, Javier Hernandez is he's stalling because he wants a bigger move by the looks of it. Same thing we had with Lacazette last season. I'm worried. Very, very worried. Thank you very much indeed, fellas. We appreciate all your videos coming in. I have never had so many videos come in thick and fast. Just in the time that I've been starting to film this, I've had three more videos come in, so I'm going to process those, and we'll get another Your Shout Out very, very soon, probably tomorrow. I'm going to try and get this one out tonight, though, uh, even as late as it may be. Uh, keep them coming. Uh, info at hammerschat.com. That's info at hammerschat.com. That's where you send your video clips if you're struggling, and then just on the email will help you um, as we've done a couple of people today and we'll, we'll work out a way where you can get the videos over but just record yourself on your mobile phone speak have your little rant and then send it in to us right that's it until tomorrow once again I'm going to ask you very very kindly to subscribe we've got if you do subscribe for our subscribers and people um, that are involved then we'll be giving away lots of prizes later on and if you don't then we'll, we'll probably win a kiss off Harry Kane or something ghastly like that right um, hope you're not all too upset as I say it's high drama everyone's desperate for a striker you guys want one we want one let's just hope that the club can come together and give us one subscribe button just in the corner there I think it actually says please it's a begging letter basically please subscribe until next time I'll see you tomorrow thanks very much for watching